little sprouts. Let's talk about a math term today, symmetry. Symmetry means you can fold something into two halves and those halves are going to be the exact same. So I have some images here and we're gonna talk more about symmetry. We're gonna start with this butterfly. If I were to divide the butterfly in half right here, is this half of the butterfly the exact same as this half? No, it is not. You can see the head of the butterfly is right here. Well, there's no head down here. It's got antennas, there's no antennas, and even the wing shapes are different. So that does not make a symmetrical butterfly. But if I were to take my line and divide the butterfly right here, does that look symmetrical? Symmetrical means it's the exact same on both sides. Let's go ahead and draw that line. Now let's look. There's an antenna here. Yep, on the same side, antenna. Look, there's a little raindrop shape here. On the other side, same raindrop shape. Let's look at another one. The wing, wing comes up to a tip here. Same thing on the other side. Yes, this butterfly is symmetrical. Means it's the same on both sides. Let's do some other shapes, okay? Let's take this star and let's try dividing it in half, okay? Are these two sides the same? Yes, they are. Everything that happens on one side is the exact same that happens on the other side. This star has two sides of symmetry. Let's try the little bird. Okay, did that work? Is the bird symmetrical? Mm, I don't think so, because look, there's a tail over here, but on the other side, there's not a tail. There's a beak, but on the other side, not a beak. So nope, the bird does not have symmetry. Let's look at this ice cream cone. Okay, what do you think? Does the ice cream cone have symmetry? Yes, it does. Everything that's on this side is mirrored on the other side. Mirrored means it looks the exact same, kind of like your reflection when you look in a mirror. All right, let's try this bear. What do you think? Not quite, is it? It's very close. It looks very similar on the both sides, but there's some things that are a little different. Like, look, the bear has two little hairs right here, but does he have those same two little hairs on his other ear? No, he does not. Here, here. Friends, our face is kind of like the bear's. Human faces are pretty close to being symmetrical, but there's little things that are a little bit different. Maybe you have a freckle on one side that you don't have on the other, or maybe your hair hangs to one side differently. So this is kind of like our face, not quite symmetrical, but pretty close. Let's try this mitten. What do you think? Does the mitten have symmetry? Nope, there's only a thumb on this one side of the mitten, which makes it look different than the other side. All right, let's go back to our butterfly. On this butterfly, the shape is the exact same, but in nature, we know that butterflies are very colorful. So when you're making a symmetrical butterfly and you're coloring it in, you have to make sure you use the same colors on either side, like this. If I want this little teardrop to be red on this side, then I need to go over to the other side and make that exact same teardrop the same color. Maybe I want this one to be orange. I gotta go right over to the other side and make this one orange. I have to keep them the same, right? Because that's what symmetry is all about. 
So if I came and I made this section blue, is this the section I need to make blue? Nope. Remember, it's the exact same. So I go across the line of symmetry, I find the same space, and that's what needs to be colored in blue. Are you guys seeing that even though I'm adding color, my butterfly is staying symmetrical? It's staying the same on both sides. See that? I could continue coloring this whole butterfly and it would stay symmetrical as long as whatever I colored on one side, I colored on the other side. That is how you make something have symmetry.